you know, he says, you throw a lot of dirt over in my field. <laughs> 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 Thinking about birthdays, um, how did you celebrate your birthdays, and can you remember a favorite birthday? What did you do to celebrate? I don't think we ever celebrated birthdays. We had ice cream and soda crackers. Yeah. My mother always made for us a big chocolate, chocolate three-layer cake with thick fudge and a lot of black walnuts on it. That, that, was, our, mm -hmm. that was your big treat. That was our birthday. Yeah. There was no such thing as presents, by presents or anything like that. You didn't have birthday presents? Hmm. I don't remember. Got no, much fruit. I, I never Do remember. You know, even at Christmas time, we didn't do anything. Probably an orange and two mm -hmm. uh, walnuts no. on our plate. That's the one Christmas I will remember because just as I, we would go upstairs, there was an apple and a color book, and I was the only one of the kids that got anything. Well, I can't say that. My oh, he's a favorite, huh? We didn't get yeah. anything uh, between times, canned and stuff, but when Christmas comes, and Dad always seemed that we had a good Christmas. You know? Like, what would you get for Christmas? You know, whatever we had, an air rifle or a, a wagon or... It was always a good Christmas. Yeah. Toys. That is your Toys. How about you, Margaret? I still have two sets of dolls. They're Belgium. One of them's probably about this big, and the other set's about this big that I got when I was tiny, and I still got them. Yeah. They go to Judy someday. You better tell her where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> I've already showed her where they're at. So, uh, Why don't you just give them to her now? <laughs> oh, well, another thing, though, is uh, at corn picking time, uh -huh. the very last day that we Got the corn out of the field yeah. with that moisture suit. Yeah. That was a big treat. That was one of my favorites too. And we couldn't get it. We couldn't have it until we got the corn out of the field. And yeah. that was our first supper. Did it people come around to help you do that? Or it was just the family? Oh, well, no. It was just a family at that time. Yeah. And when we thrashed, why the neighbors would come in and help with the thrashing. Yeah. Yeah, and the uh, wives would always go help the other women cook too. Yeah. Uh, well, for Christmas, did you have uh, different traditions that you had for Christmas? Special foods that you would make for Christmas or celebrations? I don't remember any special foods. However, we always had a Christmas tree. They would go out and cut down a little pine tree and would decorate it with... Popcorn and mulberries. Yeah, and real candles, little candles. Yeah. And we had to watch that the candles didn't start the tree on fire. Yeah. Mother always made to Santa Claus a, a cake. Oh. And had a pot of hot coffee. Uh huh. And in the nothing. morning they made <laughs> one day the cake cake out. Isn't that something? That's good. I come on, our, our mother never done anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> my mother was sick, so she didn't do my parents, one of they always was able, some way or other, saying that we had, always had a good Christmas. Yeah. Well, I remember Todd always made angel food cakes right from scratch. Oh, I did too. Was I remember that. Yeah, that was for birthdays. And I know Grandpa Grace, when he had his birthday, I always had to make him an angel food cake and take it in. And he'd always give me five dollars. No, that was a lot of money then. Well, oh, Grandpa loved it. He had it. <coughs> now, which Grandpa was this? Grandpa Grace. <coughs> Well, yes, right. Right? On your father's side. <coughs> yeah, I, I think, you know, everybody asked me why my name is Todd. How did you get that name? A dad had a, a bachelor brother, and he didn't like the name Lillian. And my hair, they said, when I was little, was just like a cotton ball. So then he got to call me um, Cotton Top. Hmm. And then he finally got down to, to uh, uh, Toddy. And then he finally cut it down to Todd, and that's what the name hmm. is stuck to me. And this uncle, 
was on the roof shivering, put it on a new roof, and he fell off and broke his neck. Died. Mm -hmm. Which uncle is this? Huh? Which uncle is this? Dad's, dad's uh, brother, Uncle Rodney. Mm -hmm. Lester, how did you get your nickname? They told me it was Grandpa. Grandpa Grace? Yeah. What did he oh. call you? I went in there and stayed with them, I guess, one, right okay. after I was born for a while, and they tell me this. Yeah. And they said that my grandpa says I'm not going to have an old grandson named Walter. <laughs> so oh, how did you get your nickname, Mom? Which one? I don't have a nickname. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Jim. Jim? Virginia. And the kids all just call me Jim. How'd you get yours that, babe? Oh, Frank. He couldn't say that one, so he called me Baby, and he got it down to Baby. Oh. Oh. And that's I like that. Years. Well, it was uh, our family, and we never had not of none of us had nicknames. Well, I'm sure well, Frank's going to grow up for the kids at school to call me Krabby. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but then that never stuck with me. I'm sure Frank's going to see this movie sometime, but anyway, he got his na name George when he's in the service. How'd yeah. you get George? Somebody in the service just automatically called him George one time, I guess. That's why I just yeah. well, I, I was oh, the person that, that the way he got his name for George was that up there in Washington, and he was on leave, and his leave was going together, and he didn't want anybody up there to know his real name. Oh, that could be. <laughs> and, and so I, I, no, I could be wrong, but I was under the impression that he gave his own name, George. That's what I called it, too. But he's known up there by George. Mm -hmm. 